What else do we need to do to use this affidavit process? The person or people signing it will also need to attach a certified copy of the death certificate to it. And the best practice is to have it notarized, have every single signature notarized. Then the people or person will present it to the asset holder. It could be a bank if it's an account. And at that point, the holder should distribute it to those people. Okay. And it, it usually goes the way we want it to go. We use this procedure a lot and our clients rarely report any trouble, but occasionally there's trouble. What happens if the bank, let's just say the bank refuses to honor the affidavit? So under the probate code, they are required to, and sometimes just informing the asset holder, the bank of these requirements, we can point out where in the probate code it says that. We've had success in writing letters that you know lay out, hey, you have to do this. The probate code says you have to do this. And we had success with that. If that still didn't work, the code does offer a remedy. The person who signed the document who is entitled to the property can file a petition with the court asking the court to tell the bank that they have to distribute it. But we haven't ever had to do that. We've never had to go that far. Yeah. And the point is that if you comply with the probate code, if you fill out this affidavit and you have all the necessary components and you're saying under penalty of perjury, everything here is true. That's all the bank needs. That gets them off the hook. That's all they need to worry about. As long as it's a valid, complete affidavit, there's nothing to be gained by resisting because now they have no liability. They are entitled and in fact required to release that property. But we know sometimes banks are a little funny about <laughs> turning over money. <laughs> sometimes they have their own rules, even though the law says what the rules are. <laughs> yeah. And those rules may vary from branch to branch, mm -hmm. bank to bank, employee to employee. <laughs> Not meaning to malign banks in particular. I'm of just course. saying, you know, we are all humans and we do things that don't always make sense. Okay. So this is a really great procedure when it's available. Again, it's called a small estate affidavit for a reason. We can't get, you know, $2 million transferred this way, but in some cases it's appropriate. Thank you for joining us today for another episode of Absolute Trust Talk Live. If you enjoyed listening in, then don't forget to subscribe. You can find us on Apple Podcasts or wherever you may listen by searching Absolute Trust Talk. While you're there, we would also love for you to leave us a review. And then why not share your favorite episodes with family, friends, or colleagues too? You can find all of our shows and corresponding show notes by visiting AbsoluteTrustCouncil.com. You'll also find a variety of other free resources, including our eBooks, videos, blogs, presentations, and more. If you need help with your estate planning or administration, we also offer a free discovery call to help get the process started. You can find more information on booking your session by visiting absolutetrustcouncil.com slash scheduling. Don't forget to keep an eye out for our next live episode. If you join us for the broadcast, you can submit questions during the show. But if not, don't worry. You can always get in touch with us by sending a quick message to info at absolutetrustcouncil.com. Thanks again for listening. We'll see you soon.